Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne. Merry Christmas! Today is the last video before Christmas Day, uh, and it also the last video before tonight's Christmas quiz. Now this will be the third Christmas quiz, uh, yearly Christmas quiz that we've done on the channel. Last year was such a success, we really enjoyed ourselves. It's two hours of complete madness. It starts at 7pm tonight. There is a link in the video description. There's also a QR code on the screen. There's also some prizes up for grabs as well. So there'll be a QR code you can scan to a Google form. Everything is multiple choice, so all you got to do is just mark on the form and submit your entries and uh, we'll see who's going to win that. I think we've got three prizes, plus there's some other consolation prizes that I'll give away at random uh, after I see all the results. But it's going to be brilliant. Mrs. Welder Wayne's going to be joining me. We're going to be in here. But today, we're going to be doing the next five stages of the fan home release a build the Back to the Future DeLorean. Are we back? So as you can see here, oh, God, it's getting heavy already. This is what we are working on in the last pack. Uh, today, I think we are going to be working on the wheel arches. We're going to be putting the battery box in here and uh, just a couple of other details in there. There's five stages that we're doing today. Uh, looking good though, isn't it? Remember, all these wheels come down into the flight mode and stuff. Looking really good. Now, if I just gently put that down there, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link in the video description. Once again, you know I love a QR code. There's a QR code on the screen. But let's jump straight into it. So today we are going to be doing stages 32 to 36, I believe. Yeah, I think it's 36. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So here is stage 32. Let's have a look what we're doing. So as you see, we have got the battery box here. And we've got a fuel tank to put in and some tabs. So we are going to be putting the uh, battery box into this fuel box here. And then we're going to be putting this onto the vehicle. So in the end, it's going to look just like that. These tabs here are going to trace this way around. So that's nice and neat. Here is the rest of the magazine. Let's do this. So that fuel tank's a lot bigger than it looked in the pictures. Quite a big thing. Look at this. As you can see. And then obviously we've got the battery box here as well. Now with battery boxes, I always test that all the terminals are well put in and soldered. So I'm checking first off the switch. Yep, they're all in, they're connected fine. And check the terminals here, that one's fine, that one's fine as well. And all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the battery box, which looks like this, and lying it this way round into, make sure I'm not trapping any wires, this cavity just here. I'm holding the rear wire in my finger there before I put this down and that will also ensure that I'm not trapping any wires in there. At the same time I'm also going to take the switch and make sure that the wires here are going through the gap just onto this side here so I can push the switch into this slot here as well. Perfect, that's looking good. Now I want to hold the battery box in place with FP screws and we need three of these. Now all the rest of the wires should be coming out of the side of this, just like that there. Because we're going to put this on the car now. So bringing it over, we haven't got to turn it around or anything, because this is just going to go into this point just here. And it's just going to slot in there like that. With the wires coming out through the slot of the side. I'm going to put this on its side. And I'm going to be holding that in with three FP screws. So one in this hole just here and two just on the tabs at the back. So that is now perfectly in just like that. Now this wire, I want to trace into these three points here. One, two, and three. Probably good on the top camera there. To do that, I've got these tabs, and the little lug on these actually goes into the bigger hole of the two, and KM screws. And there we go, that's all three of those in there. Now. I can't stress enough the importance of wire tidy in this. So you want to make sure you've got as much lead coming out as this side as possible. For that reason, I'm even going to actually just put a bit of insulating tape just into this section here to hold that wire into place. Now, I'm only doing this because I have built this before. And believe me, wire tidy is a big, big factor in this build. So there's no chance of that wire slipping back there now or anything like that or getting pinched in anything I put on top of this. And I've got the maximum amount of wire coming from that battery box. But that is all there is to do in that stage. So we're on to stage 33 now. Here are the instructions. 
And we're going to be putting a cover now over what we just put in there. Screwing this into place. And then we've got the battery box cover to go in as well. I will show you through the rest of the magazine here. Just looking like that. And in the next stage, as you see, we're going to be doing the chassis front upper. So everything in this stage is in this bag. Let's get this open. So to do this stage, what I'm doing once again is I'm taking this little magnetizing block that I've got here just to put under the back section of the car here. Just make sure that the engine isn't touching the workstation because I don't want that to get uh, damaged. I don't want the engine to get damaged on the, on the workstation there. Uh, but we are going to be putting just this over the top. And this is the plate that's going on top. It's just going to fit on like that. Now it's going to be held in with BM screws into these four holes and LM screws into these two holes here. So once again, I've ensured I put these in oil and I'm going to screw all of these in. And there you go. That's not going to move. All I need to do then is just take the battery box. Don't need to put batteries in at the moment. Check the switch still operates, which it does, as you can see. Perfect. Put this in here and clip it down. That's all there is to do in that stage. So that lifts swiftly onto stage 34. We've got the chassis front upper. We've got a detail to put into this. We're putting this over the car, so it's just going in like that. This looks like a nice quick stage. And then once again, this is the rest of the magazine. And then we've got the wheel arches coming in the next stage. It's a big old piece, this one. Let's get this open. As you can see, look, solid piece of metal this is. Okay, so having it this way round, I've got this detail here to put on. It's going to be going on this way. So if you look at the top camera, it's just going to go on here like this. There is a locating lug in there to help us get that in. That's going to be held in with one FP screw. So when that's in, it looks just like that. Bring the car back over again. And this time, I position this correctly just there. This is going to be going over the top, lining up these two holes here with the lugs that we've got just there so it's going to go on like that now into these two holes here probably best on the top camera and here we're going to be putting dm screws and i can't stress enough when you are going into metal definitely use oil especially on this build it cuts through the paint on these metal sections and it just makes screwing in a lot easier and plus with these bigger screws i'm definitely using my ph1 screwdriver because it gives you that little extra torque in there so that's held that whole side in there but these ones here aren't going into metal they're actually going into plastic so we've got fp screws for that they're just going to go in these two points here and now that's in place that's all there is to do in that stage so the penultimate stage of this pack this is stage 35 we've got the wheel arches and we're just going to be putting these on each side of the car. So that looks just like that there. And again, here is the magazine. And in the final stage, we're going to be doing the pontoons here. So the wheel arches, as you can see, are nice big things as well. Let's get this open. They are also solid metal. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> okay, let's bring the car over. I'll have it this way around this time. And to put these in place, all I'm going to do is take... One of these here, I don't know if these are labelled left and right, but anyway, oh yeah, they are, look, they're stamped on the top. So this is the R, this is the right-hand side one, this is just going to go in here, just over the two lugs, here and here. They're held in with DM screws. So it's two screws to hold this in. So I'll get these in first. Notice when I put screws in like this, I'm supporting it from the underside, so I'm not putting too much pressure on the suspensions there. And then we're just going to be doing exactly the same on the other side over here. Perfect. And with those in place, that's all there is to do in that stage. So in the final stage of this pack, as you can see, here is the magazine. We've got the pontoons. We're going to be creating those together here. We're not actually fitting them to the car, so they're just going to be staying like that for now. And again, here is the rest of the magazine. And if you are wondering what's coming next, we have got the rear wheel arches. So the way these pontoons go together, we take a top section and this one, we've got a locating lug just here, which is going into that hole at the front there. So when I push this in, it's gonna line up the rest 
of the part here. And I just need to put a screw through this hole here, which is an AP screw. They are actually labeled. So you see you've got the R in there for right. And this is stamped R as well. Somewhere I did see an R. Where did I see this stamped? There, on the inside cover. So this is the second one just going in here. Oh, this way around. And once again, I'll get that one in as well. I'll show you on the close up, that's how they should look. And that's all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. And there you go. What a nice way to end before Christmas. So all that leads me to do is to take this opportunity to wish you and your families a really Merry Christmas. I really do hope that you can join us for the Christmas quiz tonight. I think I'm going to have a move around in the back for the Christmas quiz tonight. So don't be surprised if everything's in a different place. There's going to be another video on the channel on the 27th. That's the next time there's going to be a video on the channel. There'll also be a video on the channel on the 28th and an announcement. Uh, but there is going to be no video then on the channel until probably the 2nd of January because I'm in a log cabin in Scotland enjoying myself. <laughs> anyway, listen, I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.